Come on, Malcolm. He asked me for a, for, for a personal opinion. But why didn't you say? I mean, he asked you, fuck. Of course, that explains it. Yeah. See if he'd asked you to fucking black up or to give him your PIN number or to, to shit yourself. Would you have done that as well? I would have blacked up because yeah. it was radio. Nobody would have known. Very good, yeah. Well, war is basically unforeseeable, isn't it? That is not our line. Walk the fucking line. Look, we've got Canon Clark over from Washington today. OK. We've got enough fucking Pentagon goons here to stage a fucking coup d'etat. Minister, uh, Not this... the time, love. I'm busy. Fuck off. This is Toby. Toby, hi. Minister. Glad you could make it. It's yes. a bit of an odd morning here. Yes, so Welcome to the mad house. I apologise for Malcolm. Don't apologise for me. Apologise for yourself. Did I not just tell you to fuck off and yet you're still here? It's true, I am, yes, still here. Hey, fittest boy, lesson one. I tell you to fuck off, what do you do? L F off. You'll go far. Well, fuck off. Right. Judy and I were thinking that I could row back on question time tonight. You're not yeah. going on question time tonight. You've been what? disinvited. We've been prepping question time. Why wasn't I told about this? Why the fuck would I tell you about it? I've told you to fuck off twice and yet you're still here. You should tell me about it because it's a scheduled media appearance by this department's Secretary of State, so therefore it falls well within my purview. Within your purview? Yes. Where do you think you are? In some fucking Regency costume drama? This is a government department, not a fucking Jane fucking Austen novel. Malcolm. Allow me to pop a jaunty little bonnet on your purview and ram out of the shitter with a lubricated horse cock. Your swearing does not impress me. My, my husband works for Tower Hamlets and believe me, those kids make you sound like Angela Lansbury. She's married to a bastard.